Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a new episode of EVE Echoes. Tonight on the show we're going to drive right through the AMA and I think you've probably participated. It was at a weird hour, especially for Europe. Uh, you probably also asked some questions and you probably didn't get picked. But for those of you that got picked, congratulations, uh, we got some answers from the developers. Um, we got some way of thinking, or at least what's in the head. So we're going to just keep it short and concise. And uh, before we dive into today's subject, we're going to be announcing the giveaway winners of the community question of the week. And this week's question was, do you think that the developers interfered too much with the sandbox? And our first winner for today is Ramunus Dorsius with the comment, all EE players complain, wish it was EO on mobile but i know it's not true and it never be so so get used to it <laughs> sleepers event was lame i thought level up base will increase difficulty which could be cool but it was like oh i know event slam some itties and we got bad event like others i participated in like 15 minutes for plex regulation i don't care much because i don't play much now and whole insurance program i get it like 30% IP give back, 30% buy back, but at the same time, I feel industry is slowed by the rest 70%. So this is a big hit to the market and industry, correct. If they fear for risk inflation, then just put NPC mineral cells and get rid of this game. Lots love sitting belts and AFK mine, or better simplify game to pure PvE and PvP, no mining, no industry, because with each game iteration, we go closer to this point. Most devs like PvP and I bet none of them like mining nor building and if they do I bet they add more fun to mining like NPC rats and all belts and better solve system. Which won't be as checkmarked with more stuff like unique system bonus to compensate against others and a whole range of all benefits of combining corp holding soft system. If they want to get ISK out of the game they need to add more consumable stuff like ammunition or mineral, they need to repair ship or combine ship to get next generation to get new indie players and T. 10 new way get ships and if there's thinking a long playing time is unhealthy they forgot it's done most time afk and all restrictions has overcomes yeah there's definitely workarounds all over the place <laughs> uh, and last one if new industry ships cost 10 times more than pvp capitals this could be good to get rid of some isk and minerals well we'll find out soon enough how much exactly is each capital gonna cost uh, in terms of ISK and in terms of material, so uh, we're going to cover that as soon as it gets out. Let's move over to our second winner of today, and it's Judge Banny with the comment, they have put a limiter on plaques from rising or falling more than 20% from previous updated estimated value, meaning they are controlling the market. On par with insurance, we are in a pseudo box, not a real sandbox, or else they wouldn't place a limit on plex pricing. Yep, that's a good hit. Home run point. Congratulations, Judge Manny. Let's move over to our third and final winner of today, which is none other than Mark Van Bergsteden with the comment, I don't know about the devs interfering too much, but sometimes I do shake my head at what they're changing. But not going to lie, that last balance, I was decently happy with the changes. But like, the last event just to recruit for the game, come on. Dude, the game buddies I know are playing, or have played, and decided it wasn't their game. So I literally have zero, and consider it a waste for everyone. Yeah, the recruitment event system, uh, kind of cringy, covered that in a video. Be sure to check it out, and do tell me if uh, you agree with me or not. Congratulations to Mark, actually congratulations to all of our three winners and thank you all for participating. Do stick around until the end of the video because we will be having yet another community question of the week with three new Omega combos to give away. Yeah, these three people right here, these three pilots, won an Omega combo clone each worth 30 days of Omega Duo. So let's get on to our subject for today. We're going to scroll through most of this stuff, so be sure to strap on because we're not going to waste too much time on every question slash answer. We're going to uh, try to, um, I don't know, highlight the highlights and see if we can get something useful out of the AMA because they kind of gave us some details and some information. Actually, information that not even us content official content creators get, which is a pity because we should be able to, like, 
review stuff beforehand or I don't know give some feedback on some events or they don't get released that crappy I don't know let's uh let's dive into this as a disclaimer the developers in the AMA use Google Translate to both translate the questions they were asked and to translate their answer into English that means a double translation here so there's probably going to be a lot of misinterpretation and a lot of the uh, essence of the question and answer are probably going to get lost. I'm not sure if the questions that were posed were completely understood or if the answers that they provided actually make sense sometimes. So um, they're going to be kind of sketchy at best. So keep that in mind. In this answer, Lancelot basically tells us that they don't have anything in mind to remove or to modify insurance because well it's here to stay um they don't seem to care that it ruins industry actually they think that it it's really beneficial to the industry and if it, the insurance system would be different than what it is today it'll cause a lot of problems um we would like to see that wouldn't we unfortunately this is how they tackled it since the very beginning of the ama so and pretty much the wings were torn right off uh, any hope of seeing changes or improvements or even uh, complete redesigns of the insurance system. So that's a bummer. His words were, I see a lot of friends mention insurance. According to past face-to-face -face experience, relying on insurance questions will probably not change the fact being complained. Even so, we still want to mention it. The purpose of insurance is to reduce the losses of combat players and avoid leaving the game after blowing up the ship therefore with the insurance discount is equivalent to reducing the loss of each ship bomb ship bomb it means destruction yeah translation fuck up by 70 percent compared to with no insurance on the other hand we also believe that the production of isk from the insurance system is very unfavorable to the game's economic system what the fuck uh, so reducing the system the insurance purchase order is an inevitable choice why in fact with insurance it is true that not every ship is bombed the combat player or the system will buy ship from the industry player but the insurance has completed its mission no <laughs> no it has not number one reduce the damage to the battle player's ship bombing we could say that two no extra isk is generated but shouldn't be generated any extra isk it should be like constantly flowing in between industry and pv pvp whatever Number three, the consumption of insurance points will be returned to the market in the form of plaques. We don't care about that. We care about stuff being on the market currently. Uh, if you have taken a look at the market, some ships are barely even there with a few orders and just a few pieces. No one buys them. No one needs them. This is our status quo. It's unbearable to see industry and the market being brought down to the knees. Uh... In the future, we will still make some optimization improvements around insurance, such as the Eden coin sales order converted from insurance points, the system purchase order generated by insurance, and more obvious labels on the display. Another example is sending an email to the Legion, which is corporation, stupid translation, notifying which member submitted an acquisition contract from the insurance system. At the same time, we'll also pay close attention to the circulation of tradable items such as mines, vegetables, ships, and what the Mines and vegetables. I would like a carrot, please. Can I fly my carrot? <laughs> Ships, equipment and modified parts to ensure the health of New Eden's economic system and industrial system. In the near future, we'll activate the Galaxy Insurance buff again, increasing orders from the insurance system as a prelude to the industrial adjustment. In the further future, we're also exploring ways to consume healthy minerals, equipment and modified parts to ensure their output value. Friends who are interested in this aspect are also very welcome to communicate with us a lot. <sighs> Horrible answer. This, is, in my opinion, um, I maybe there's just something that we, the player base, don't understand. But there's so many of us that don't understand. <laughs> anyway, moving on. This is pretty much a promise that capital ship deployments and releases and the content of capital ships will increase, <laughs> which is well not what we actually want of course there's a fair amount of players that wait cattle ships or something else to go to bigger to bigger and bigger but there's a bunch of the rest of the player base that just want the core features of the game fixed this answer talks about adding more sinks to the game we don't know exactly what they're referring to either isk sinks or mineral sinks but some are needed like mineral sinks but isk sinks well 
if you put that insurance system to be proper, then the sink of the ISK would be to the industry. You get it? You, you make industry to be a, a sink for the ISK. Ah, <sighs> come on, people. This is basically a promise that whatever tool we might need inside the game, they will add it after taking it into close consideration. And uh, they encourage us to give feedback on whatever tools we need inside the game. This comment, uh, it's pretty much talking about new anomaly spaces because uh, somebody asked if they, we would have like some special anomalies to, I don't know, farm in order to get some components or some, yeah, whatever to reverse engineer and get the components for the new industry ships that are going to be released, the um, Noctis, the uh, Orc and the Rorqual. So yeah, there you have it. We're going to have some sites and we're going to find some stuff and we're going to reverse engineer to get the parts and blueprints for these new industrial ships. This is basically a statement that the Orca will yield better ore just by its own self-mining, not just through bonuses, than the Coverter 2. And of course, the Rorqual will have a better yield than the Coverter 2. I think it should have been an Orca, like, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's an hierarchy. But anyway, these ships shouldn't be for mining, but they've turned them into mining vessels, and now we will be having capital mining vessels, which will mean even more ore and minerals on the market. So I think I foretold correctly that the mineral and ore market is going to crash. <laughs> we'll have to see after the May update. This is where they tell us about the mining drones that we'll be receiving. We're going to be getting excavator mining drones and... Uh, basic mining drones and these are all going to be large drones this was a question put forward by penzi uh, about the ores and minerals because well they are not valued that so much um but the answer was that, like reducing the output of minerals can increase the price of minerals per unit volume but i'm afraid it will not increase the reward value of mining pilots per unit of time not sure if i misunderstood what you mean due to translation but it's really a good idea to boost the earnings of skilled well-equipped mining pilots in some way to make them better than fk hang up mining pilots yeah but giving more power to more ships and bigger ships to mine to yield more you're basically burying the new players that are trying to mine because the prices of the minerals will go so low and the prices of the ores will go so low that for a new player to just hop in in a venture and start mining uh it's going to be even worse than today because uh after the may patch we'll have the capital mining ships which will yield even more which will mean even more minerals and, and ores dumped either on the market or whatever there's going to be a surplus of uh, stuff, uh, which will drive the prices even lower. Which means that for your average Joe guy that just joined the game and starts uh, picks up mining, it's going to be uh, completely desolate and not fun. Any word on the MTUs? Haha, <laughs> good joke. No, they're still on the Trello, but they've been removed from any plan. So we had hoped that we would get a proper MTU, a mobile tractor unit, instead of the auto salvager. <laughs> Joke's on you. The AMA proved to be quite a revelation. <laughs> this explains how mining drones will be used and which ship is going to use them. The Orca will only be able to acquire mining yield via drones, no high slot modules. Will we get some new graphic and stuff changed in, in Echoes? Uh, our script designers and artists will be very happy to see this question. Currently we are advancing the visuals and sound effects, including ship textures, gear effects, sound enhancements, and an editor that helps us produce better music. Cool, this answer is pretty cool altogether. This question was actually spot on, what will be the cost of capital mining ships? <laughs> it will consume a bit more materials and ores than other existing capital ships. <sighs> You don't say. So we're probably looking at 20 billion per industrial capital ship instead of 14 billion or I don't know the prices of capital ships. I don't follow them that much, but it's going to be even more expensive. So how is this even affordable or at least a target for new players? You, like I want to go have a capital mining ship. <laughs> anyway, will the venture fit mining drones? I'm afraid not. Mining drones need an L size slot. <laughs> 
This is a not so cool answer. We hope to give players a new experience by providing more industrial ships, especially the capital ship. At the same time, we will also increase players' demand for minerals and ores through court buildings and more capital ships in the future. Why? Fix the core issues of the game. Stop adding new capitals. They're not going to fix your problem. This question was about how close or tied are the EVE Echoes development versus the EVE Online development. And Lancelot basically told us that present the development plans of EVE Echoes and EVE Online are independent of each other, so there's no strict system to ensure that the detailed design and new content of the two games will be exactly the same. Yeah, they're not and never will be, unfortunately. However, the future development directions of EVE Echoes and EVE Online are similar, because one, we have the same design concept, seriously doubt it. We will communicate and share regularly and learn from each other's valuable experience. Well, I think EVE Online is actually learning a lot from the EVE Echoes experience. Uh, what I don't see is the other way around. EVE Echoes did not learn from 18 years of EVE Online and balancing and plenty of stuff which made the game a great game. A game that still stands today. It's withstood the test of time and it still has a big player base. Meanwhile, look at us. God damn it. This was a multi-part question. The answer was we are always working on improving the quality of the game, including adding new music and new storyline missions and encounters. Please look forward to this. Uh, yeah, probably talking about the uh, new stuff that we'll be getting in order to, you know, obtain the new capital ship components or whatever. We have no plan to adjust the Aurum acquisition method of exploration gameplay for the time being. Uh, I, this was probably poorly translated. What Missing No asked was if we will be getting uh, an improvement on the exploration mechanics and how it works, and they basically said no. They did agree on something, and number three, improving the playability of the game has always been the number one priority for us. They did improve some stuff, yeah, but there's still a lot way to go. And they should focus on that. Screw the capitals. Uh, fix the damn game. There's plenty of issues. There's my top 10 issues that need fixing. Uh, you can check it out. It's uh, just it, it, It's been released just a while back. And only I think only a couple of the issues in that video were touched by the balance system. And not entirely in a good way. They still have a long way to go. And they should focus on that. This answer gives us a lot of information about the new capital ships, the Orca and the Rorqual. The Rorqual will have 300,000 ore hold in cubic meters, while the Orca will have 150,000 uh, cubic meters in ore hold. No bonus for tractor beam, that's a bonus in evil line, completely removed, just major in mining, so major bonuses in mining. Uh, different from Trello, sorry for that. Will the Rorqual have a special siege or slash triage module? Uh, in which it will be able to uh, compress or and do some, like, you know, just what I said in the previous videos. Uh, yes, it will have a new module which will help itself or its fleet members into compressing the ore in their ore hole. That's pretty interesting. So if you're in fleet with the raw core, can you compress the ore while in space? Uh, it won't being inside of your covert, so that's going to be insane. Uh, will the orca have a cop hangar inside of it? No, it will not. Will the orca have a ship bay and a ship fitting uh, in order, you know, to swap ships or, or to refit your ship just by being near the orca? No, it will not. Smooth as water actually point out a good question. Uh, the insurance mostly working way it's intended to be for PvE and PvP, but it's killing off the industry. Lancelot actually answered with this one. Strictly speaking, the reason why the goods do not sell well is not insurance. <laughs> okay, because there's no destruction in the game, and that's because of the insurance, so I don't see your point and argument there. Even if there is no insurance, when safe farming players are the majority and players willing to risk bombing ships become a minority, it will eventually lead to oversupply. We will take the issue of output recycling very seriously and there will be, no, uh, and there will be new content to serve this. It's just that we don't think insurance is the main cause of the problem. So far, we will not expand the issue of insurance here. I hope you can understand. Well, even if you are a safe guy in high sec, you can still blow up, you fall asleep, NPCs kill you. And what you happen, you, you just, uh, you, you're creating surplus because you are 
spawning something out of thin air using the insurance system and getting your stuff back, including your items. If you blow up, then you should head over to the market and buy new things from there. Collect your stuff that dropped inside your rack, uh, abandon the mission, go pick your stuff up and then buy new stuff from the market. No, instead you just uh, create stuff, new stuff from thin air. It's actually all the stuff that you lost, that got destroyed and... Uh, does that eliminate uh, a ship and items from the market? No. Uh, one in third losses will probably generate a, uh, a buy order and that's gonna be it. It sucks. This is actually causing a much bigger issue. Uh, everyone has everything and don't, they don't need anything else. So industry players don't feel the need of building new stuff because no one buys them. So the prices just drop and no one gets a profit out of building things anymore. With new cosmic anomalies that will be added uh, to get the wrecks for the new ships, uh, will there be anywhere or inside of an, ev an event just like we had this event? And the answer was like, yes, it will be in everywhere in New Eden, but the combat NPCs will be different according to the region. It's going to be interesting. We'll have to review that when it comes out. They have increased the refresh rate of the mining bells and occasionally there will be some surprises in some mining bells to provide different experience for industrial players. This means we might see rats inside uh, NPC spawn inside uh, the uh, mining belts. That will be quite interesting. I hope it's going to be this and not some other crap. Here we have some answers about the Noctis, uh, which will be like a salvager ship. Uh, what are the skills that are going to improve this ship? And we got expert industrial ship command will bring a bonus boost to looting range and expert industrial ship defense upgrade. It will bonus its cargo hold. Even though Missing No asks something similar in previous uh, question about will we get like an update to exploration making it better, they said no. Here somebody asked, will there be a hacking minigame ever introduced in, um, in EVE Echoes so we could actually do a hacking and depend upon our own skill to open the can instead of stupid RNG. Uh, very good suggestion, we'll start this topic in future discussion. How will the Orca compare to the Covada 2 in yield? 50% better for its own mining. So the Orca will mine 50% better than a Covada 2. In EO, the Rock Hall has a panic function to protect the ship and nearby allies from incoming fire. Uh, the current version does not have this mechanism and there are currently no plans to add it, but later we'll focus on player feedback as well as its survivability data. Yeah. <laughs> Will we be getting ice mining soon or is it in the development plan? No plans for now. And that's pretty much it. This was it. That was the highlight of the AMA. And these were the top questions and answers that I considered to be most relevant to what we will be getting in terms of content. Some of the answers suck. Some of the answers are good. I'll just have to wait and see until the industry uh, expansion launches so we can see how good are those ships and if they are good. Uh, how much of a problem do they pose to the current status of the economy and of course of the industry and the mineral market and everything else. And we reached that point in the video when we announced the next community question of the week and this week's question is gonna be do you think that the Orca and the Rockwell will bring any value to industry players? To participate, don't forget you need to drop a comment below and let me know and include in the comment your in-game name and character ID plus the answer to this question and you'll automatically be uh, added to the pool of potential winners next week when we announce the next three winners. That's it for today. I hope you guys learned something. Thank you guys for watching. A very big shout out to my channel supporters and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.